I want to sing you one of my songs. I've, I learned to write songs or hang around with Bruce Phillips and all the different people. I, I don't think of myself as a singer-songwriter. They, If they're any good, they come like a gift. And if I try to write a song because I think I ought to, I never get it right. It's just always terrible. I couldn't decide which one until I heard Heather talking about... Uh, about something she heard me say about a hole in my diaphragm. <laughs> I think you should hear the rest of that story. I wrote that for my middle daughter, who is now just turned 49 the other day. Rude, rude, rude. But I wrote this for her when she was 14, and 14 is generally pretty awful for everybody. And, um, and I wanted to tell her how much I loved her. It's just so much easier to sing that than to say it. It's hard. You don't speak the same language a lot of the time, you know. <laughs> and uh, I, I mean, we were at each other's throats, sort of, when she was 14. You know, when somebody steps in front of a train or a car, you just sort of want to knock them out of the way. I mean, they, get mad and I wrote it right after we had the conversation about whether or not the library stays open until four o'clock in the morning <laughs> I told her I'd been to that library myself and, and that my mother never bought that story either And she said, you never believe anything I tell you. And I said, well, look what you just said. She said, I hated this. She said, I didn't ask to be born. And I said, well, who asked you? I had a hole in my diaphragm. <laughs> yeah. I said, but here you are, and we can't get along. we got to fix that. So I wrote this song, and she liked it. She brought friends. We've been friends ever since. I'll sing it to you. It's like Shelley's song. What can I say but that it's not easy? I cannot lift the stones out of your way. I can't cry your bitter tears for you. I would if I could. What can I say? Oh, we're not one. We're worlds apart, you and I. Child of my body, bone of my bone. Apple of my eye Like a young tree I'll see you sway and bend I'm so afraid Afraid you might break Tossed by the wind All the storms that come your way And careless strength Seeing fruit who reach out to take Ah, oh, we're not one, we're worlds apart You and I Child of my body Bone of my bone Apple of my eye I know my love not seem a distant thing to you but there's so many I must give you to it'll flow like a river to the sea there would be no end to it till there's an end to me and we're not one we're worlds apart Bone of my bone 
one other tiny little fragment from a from uh, Jean Ritchie who came here to sing to and it's an epitaph song I don't mean to be morose it actually works pretty well and then everybody who can find their way back up here is going to come on and we're going to sing all together like a regular hoot nanny <laughs> and this song is uh is what she wrote when some lady came to interview her and said, she said, inter sort, of, sort of copying her own Kentucky voice, the woman said uh, she wanted to do a, uh, what, a, a story about her. And she said, well, what's it for? And the woman said, well, I hope you don't mind, but when somebody dies, we like to write their obituary and keep it on file, or, you know, even if they don't die yet, we like to have it there. <laughs> and she said, said I, could, I didn't like that much, and I decided I could just write my own, my own damn thing, you know. It goes, harp on the willow tree, now it is home. One man, one faith, one God to them I've clung. Our wished for songs of life, now they are sung. Harp on the willow tree, now it is hung. Dear little son of mine, child on your knee. Sing him our songs of life, let him fly free. Dear little son of mine, child on your knee. Sing them for you, for him. Sing them for me. Y'all there? Thank you. 